But could you could you forgive a friend who'd maybe betrayed a confidence like that? Um, it has happened to me. Not that they've said on Piers Morgan's show that they've slept with me, thank goodness. <laughs> <coughs> but um, and I think probably. In that case, I don't know that Jerry will be too bothered. I think it'll all be a little bit of they're a the hype for... They're the Spice Girls. They're the Spice Girls. They, you know, they've, they've sort of said it before. With... I think that all friends, and people can deny this and say it's not true, but all friends do gossip a little bit about each other. You know, all of this stuff, I tell it like it is and I tell it to each other's faces. No, they don't. They say it behind their backs. And, um, <laughs> and it's like, you know, I'm obsessed with those programmes like Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and they have to basically sign up to ruin their friendships because you've got to talk about it each other and be horrible about each other and I'd wake up with just an anxiety rash all the, all the time but um, but basically I've had a couple of friends in my life who um, they say they didn't <laughs> I know they did betrayed a confidence and this is like oh, okay. a confidence where it's stepping over a line it's over the like line listen if I found out that a friend had said something that I maybe didn't want the world to know I would probably say oh thank you very much you know I, I, I can't believe that you told them that or something and obviously people who drink get a little bit loose-lipped I was one of them um, and I am known as Gob of the Tyne so I do like a gossip <laughs> but I also can keep a secret and um, so and I, and I did have a fallout, and with these two friends, respectively, who they, they, they will know, and, I, and, and one of them isn't here, and one of them is one of my best friends, who I love dearly, we fell out for two years. And it was very painful for them and very painful for me. Mm. And, um, but, you know, uh, my friend came back into my life, and I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. But... I disagreed with it, and and I, I did. They know immediately yes. that they'd upset. You. Yes, yeah. and that yes. They, but I they think did. the thing is, though, if if that did happen, like you say, we all, you know, or have you heard about, you know, Jane, or have you heard about Andrea, and I'm worried about it as friends. Mm. But if you said to me, or any of you said to me, I'm going to tell you something now. Don't tell anyone. Mm. I wouldn't no. tell anybody. Yeah. If I found out someone had. I'm not saying I'd stop being friends with them, but I would never trust them again, yeah. and therefore I would be very selective, More selective about, about what, what I you tell say. them. That's what I do. I compartmentalise, because I think if you fall out with somebody in a very big way, it affects your social circle. It yeah. kind of makes things awkward for everybody Every, else. Yeah. I mean, if it was a major, major thing that really upset me, then I probably would just completely cut them out. But if somebody I know has... I've told them something in confidence and I know they've told somebody... Um, I just compartmentalise them and I never tell them anything ever again. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same. I'm not a big falling out with someone kind of person. No. I, I'm not saying that you wouldn't know that I've fallen out with you, as in, a, you mm. know. But I, w I won't, don't necessarily have to big sh have a big showdown. You're right. I just put that into a box and think, ah, OK, so that's the measure of you. I won't tell you anything yes. yeah. anymore. Uh, we, we asked you at home, have you ever uh, dumped a friend for telling your secret? 51% said yes and 49% said no. So it's really oh, close, yeah, actually. It is, absolutely. Really close, practically 50-50. Um, Sarah says uh, they aren't real friends if they tell a secret. And uh, Sherry says uh, if you wouldn't take your friend's secrets to the grave, then you aren't a, a real friend. Friend. But I suppose <laughs> that is all true. Yeah. It depends on, if, if, what, if, what if they don't deliberately tell? What if it just kind of falls out and they go, oh, God, what am I getting in? I know. Mm. I know. I mean, I don't have even do that? anything that could Have be you done that? Anymore. Have you so done that? Oh, have I done that? I just think in the Mel and Jerry thing, her book's called Brutally Honest, and she was just put in that situation where. Yeah. And it, you know, it. Listen, she, Mel is so kind of outspoken anyway and a little bit naughty, mm. and so is Jerry. So I kind of think it's fine. It's all fine. Yeah, and it was ages ago. It was ages ago.